Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm gonna show you how I made this diaper last year for my baby. We were gonna take him swimming for the first time and I decided I wanted him, I wanted him to use cloth diapers still in the pool. So I got my supplies, my POL, micro fleece, and I decided I was gonna make the diaper. So for the micro fleece, I did use like a mix and match, match pieces here and there. That's why it looks like that, but it works. Um, I used a different color for the tabs, also my snap plier, I'm using hoop and loop this time um, just for the tabs and my pattern that you can find in my vlog or on Etsy, also the elastic. So I'm going to start by sewing the tabs on the diaper and then I'm going to turn the fabric inside. I mean the the wrong sides in that way I can start sewing it and when I turn around it'll look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna add the placement for the snaps. So just mark with a couple of dots there. I'm not gonna do the bottom, the second row from the top from the top to the bottom because I'm gonna add the hoop and loop as you can tell here. I do recommend you to add another piece of the POL every time you add a snap because it can be a little, it can pull when you're trying to close or open the snaps. So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and sew the hoop and loop and then I'm going to start closing my diaper. This is just like how you make a regular diaper. Just remember to leave an opening at the bottom or where the, the lower back should be. So I'm going to start placing my elastics inside and this is just the way I do it with my other diapers. I'm going to secure it here with a couple of stitches that way I can just close, when I close it it will stay in place. And I'm going to go ahead and go around the diaper. I also placed one in the back as you can tell in the lower back. So if your baby poops, nothing will come out. You can actually add gussets as well since it's a swimmer diaper. I didn't. I didn't feel like I was going to need it for my baby, but you can totally do that. And I have a pattern for that. Like it comes included with the pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and close the whole diaper. And then for the back, I'm just going to stretch it out the same way I do with the leg elastic which is what I'm working on right now so I'm um, when I'm finished with this we're gonna go to the lower back and I have the two a lot the the one elastic hold by two stitches as well as you can tell I'm gonna make sure that I well that I actually like don't catch it with the needle because I will totally ruin the function of the elastic so I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a little pocket there. It doesn't matter if it's too small. Or, I mean, if it's too big, it'll, it'll crunch itself. You won't really notice. So now the last thing you gotta do is add the rest of the hoop and loop in the tabs. Or if you're using snap, just add them here. And this is the result. He was happy. It was a cute diaper. It kind of matched a, a sanded beach. So it was pretty awesome, it was his first time at the pool and he was in love. He still loves being in the water, it's like his favorite activity. So hopefully this will work for you and you can make this diaper and for your babies. I hope you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like and well just give me a like. Look at this little chubby boy, I can't believe he's almost two now, he's growing way too fast. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys. Enjoy your summer.